Hello, everybody. This video is to introduce you to your Pirate Shift Playhouse assignment using SketchUp. So if you've done other assignments already, you should know the process. Let's, uh, here's one of the Google Classrooms that has in the classwork, the assignment here, it's already selected and open for me, Pirate Ship Playhouse. Now inside will be your videos of how to do step-by-step -step this Pirate Ship. If you prefer, there's also written instructions they have some gaps in them for some reason, straight from SketchUp. Uh, but if you prefer written instructions, you can follow through that there as well. Now, the easiest way into SketchUp is going to be for you to click on the link and SketchUp will open for you. As it is opening, we'll just have to wait on it. All right, you can see I've got some other things going here or have in the past. You may or may not. So you're going to come up here and we're going to create a new simple template using feet and inches. Now we've got the dude here. I can't remember his name and he's there. We will just get rid of him for what we are doing together. The first thing you should do is save your assignment. Put your name in and title your assignment. We'll find a good place to save it. You're going to want to save it in your classroom. Find the class that you're in so that we can come back later and find it. If you go in to the folder, you're not going to be able to find anything. Stay outside in the main area where all your folders are. Pick the class you're in and select. We can see that it's now saved up here. Time for us to, first of all, we're going to make the shape of the ship in our pirate ship playhouse. So come here on the left side, grab the rectangle tool. We'll come where our three axes meet called the origin, click, and we will move our mouse out. Now we're going to type in the size of our ship and it's going to be eight feet, comma, space, six feet. You just need to type straight into the dimension box. Notice that I could still move my mouse. Now that's gone away. So if you move your mouse or your trackpad as you are typing, those numbers aren't going to enter for you. So move, get your fingers, your get away from the mouse, and then just type in. You don't need to click in the dimension box. Eight feet, comma, space, six feet, enter. Next, come up, pick the line tool. We will come and we can drag along. You'll get this red box. It'll turn to a blue dot at the midpoint, click. Now we're going to drag that up three feet. Return, connect your points, erase your lines. I come over to the eraser and erase those lines. Now over to this push pull, push pull. You'll see the face uh, is the color changes. When I move over top, click once, move up, and again, stay away. Once you move your mouse up a bit, stay away from your mouse, stay away from the trackpad, type into your keyboard one foot. So it's the apostrophe is for feet, six inches, quotation marks, four inches. You hold shift and push the same button and that will give you inches, hit enter, and it will give you uh, the shape of your ship. We can grab our rotate tool if we'd like, move around. We can see that we have got the shape of our ship now happening. Click the save button and your assignment will be saved at this point. So that's step one, you to make the shape of the 